Hey guys, GMT here, and I'm bringing back Beyblade Spotlights, and today it's gonna be Hades Curve X. And here's the thing, I didn't unbox any of this bay, but it had no audio, so I said, I'll do a spotlight video on it. Never done one of those in life forever. So anyway, Hades Curve X is a stamina bay, and it's pretty decent at the stamina because of how round it's shaped. Like, you have these little openings here, but for the most part, it's completely round. And a couple of days of a messing around with it, and the gold is going. <laughs> oh, yeah, but it's its greatest stamina. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and give it a quick spin. Boom! See what I mean? Perfect circle while spinning. It's really hard to get in between those grooves to stop it. So, it can just sit there and beat out most bays with just its stamina which is crazy you know even um even El Drago well Medio El Drago when it steals the spin from that bay it still can't win because of the way that the tip is under the bottom of the bay see this here tip here is rounded so even when it's stopping it still ends up moving a little bit more than any other bay would so unless you can pretty much ring this thing out or you have a way better stamina bay it's taking that W so anywho let's get this started 3, 2, 1, let it rip and boom got Dark Wolf because out of all the bays I've tested out of all the bays I've tested it's the one that can do the best that's not you know an attack type bay because I believe Dark Wolf is um it's either stamina or defense. Can't remember at the moment. It'll come to me. But yeah, you see what I mean? Knocked it flat out. That's the one downside. If it's out, it's over. And with a stadium like this, since it doesn't have openings, it has to go in a pocket. Let's go again. Wait a second, let me get the, the dark wolf in here first this time. Three, two, one, let it rip. You will be. Ooh. Okay, this is going to be a while. They're having a staring match right now. Just going to reload these launchers when I'm ready to go again. Ooh. That's an interesting strategy. Dark Wolf went underneath Hades Kerbex and scraped it a little bit. Looked like it was working for a second, but I don't think so. <laughs> so score is one to one. I'm just going to two because we've got more bays to run through. So here we go. Ba -ba -bow, putting them on the launcher. Three, two, one. Let it fit. Son of a gun, it fell off. There we go. Crazy junk, isn't it? If it wasn't for how easily Hades Kerbex can get pushed back, I would say it should be classified as a defense bay more than a stamina bay, but it does so well with the stamina that you just you gotta go with that. Yep. And it slides a lot, so that's the thing. Anywho. Next bay we've got up is Meteor El Drago. And because I like doing this so much, the first one's going to be hand spin. Let's see how that works out. Uh oh, there it is. Oh man. I love spin stealing, it's freaking awesome. But see the downside to Meteor El Drago is since it's um got all that rubber covering it and it's doing all of these, you know, spin stealing hits, it doesn't do much damage. Which is a problem against this bay because eventually that happens. See? So what I'm gonna do this time 
let me change this launcher to left spin. Boom, 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 boom. And we're gonna launch Meteor Drago. Here we go. These are gonna actually count. Three, two, one, let it flip. And Ooh, that was bad. That was a horrible launch. You see what I'm getting at, though? It cannot hit with enough power. Because it needs to make some really hard contact with the metal. The rubber dulls all the hits. Or at least that's kind of the idea of the rubber. It not only dulls the hits, but oh, oh, oh! Freaking Meteo El Drago. You saw at the very end it was dodging. <laughs> so it couldn't be touched. It's like you're not stopping me. If I touch you, it's over. It's already over now. Oh man. It's probably gonna go like the last one. Oh come on. Uh oh. Oh that's it. Game time. Yeah, I think it's gonna go like the last one. Where the first match, Dark Wolf had it. Next two, it's taking L's. And now we're waiting. This match is done, but we're gonna see it through to the end. Come on. There it is. It's beginning to hit it. This is gonna come straight down to stamina. And there it is. See? Knew that's how it was going. That's how it always goes when it comes down to stamina. Because of this tip, Meteor El Drago cannot last longer than Hayes Kerbex while they're clashing with each other. It's just not the way it works. Anywho, this will be the last one either way. Three, two, one, let it go. And. Uh-oh! They can do a couple more hard hits like that and knock it into a pocket. Still win. Or if it just keeps it leaning like that. Because once it balances out, that's it. And there it is. There it is. Boom! Ace Kerbex takes it again. See? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Alright, we're gonna put it up against one more bay. Let's see. Let's give it a full on attack type. Oh, wait, no! 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 Let's give it a zero G. This one is also a stamina type. Actually, I think it's more of a balance type, but, man, eh, it's. It acts like a stamina type, so I'm calling it a stamina type. That's how these things work. It's not how they work! Yes, it is. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> oh, goodness. There we go. Had to switch back to right spin on this other launcher. And. Come on. Go in there, ripcord. Here we go. Locked in. Three, two, one. Let it rip. And three, two, one, let it rip. I don't know why I even counted on the second one. Ooh, pocketed, nice. 
one thing I didn't mention is that's what it has to do against a zero G bay, because they're basically a giant hunk of metal. Like, look at this. It's one giant hunk of metal on a little plastic piece. So, if you can't knock it out, it's knocking you out. Oh man, but anywho, first round, Hades Cub Axel. Okay, here we go. Round two. Three, two, one, let it go. That was my bad. That was my bad. I'm gonna have to redo that one. The funny thing is it popped out of the, it popped out of the pocket and got knocked right back into the pocket. So let me take you back out of here. That was my bad, I'm sorry. Grab that. Here we go. There we go. Eek, eek. Out of state and sparkling a little bit. That means some of the gold got knocked off. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hades. Hades Kerbex took the win again. Shocking. I expect this one to win. You know what? We're going to go with my noisy zero G bay because of this here the bottom that scrapes this stadium like crazy it's really noisy but it's really fun too so let's get this set this will be the last one for real for real at least this time three two one let it rip Oh dear, that might be it. But you never know, this one get a really hard hit and knock Hades Kerbex right out of the stadium. But, you never know. Three. Oh, never mind. I was about to count it down until it hit. But it hit before I thought it would. Alright, there it is. That's what I expected. Okay, let's go again. Three, two, one, let it go. Oh my goodness. The scraping, man. Huh? Made I almost touched it. There it is. Never mind. There it is. See, that's what I was telling you. Sometimes gets that lucky hit, knocks you right out. All right, here we go. The final battle. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Ha cha cha. Oh, so much power. All right, it's over. Yep. Excellent. I think I've proven it's worth. Right? This was a great spotlight for it. it looked real nice. All right. So, actually, you know what? Before I finish, let's give it one more bay from a different generation. I'm like, why'd you say generation like that? Because it's a different generation. Okay, let's see. Make sure I got that just right. Okay. Three, two, one. Let it rip. And. Rip. Yeah, Warborg. Let's see how Warborg does. I have it in left spin, by the way.
Oh no, it got pocketed. No. Warborg. Oh man. That was a nice battle though. You did well, buddy. You did well. Alright, so. Once more. Rice spin this time. Three, two, one, let it rip. And rip. Oh. Knockout! <laughs> oh, that's nice. Freaking double knockout! That is. I didn't expect that. I, I did not see that coming. Ooh, ooh, that was good. That was so good. Okay, so let me put this back on the launcher. Gotta make sure it's on here good. Okay. Three, two, one, let it go. And flip. oh, that came off bad. That's okay. We're not gonna worry about it. Sometimes that happens with these launchers. The bait just falls off without full power. Yeah, Warboard doesn't have enough spin to win this. It's over. That's the one thing I hated about this generation of Beyblade. I love the Beyblades themselves, but the launchers are so bad. Like the bays just fall off of them sometimes. Let me see. Give me a second. I'm gonna sit this back on here and see if I can get a better launch out of that. I wanna go one more. I want to have a full power fight like that last round. That was hot. Double knockout, man. That was awesome. I did it again. Okay, so my video cut out and I have to continue. I'm glad I noticed it before I, I launched again. But, um,. Yeah, I'm going to see if it works this time. If not, it's whatever. There we go. Oh my goodness. Warboard, no. Well, there you go. That's going to do it for this one. Uh, uh, you know, you know what? Just for the heck of it. Yeah, just for the heck of it. I'm gonna throw one more bay out there for you guys. Ooh. This is just gonna be a one round thing. I just wanna check some junk out. There we go. Oh, oh my goodness. I did not expect. <laughs> I, did, I, did, I, just, I didn't expect Spryzen to actually last that long, so it's, it's a little shocking for me. So, actually, because I just, that was a shock there. Let me, let me do this then. I'm going to have one more round with it. Goodness. Did not expect Spryzen to last. So, what I'm gonna do is switch the tip on Spryzen. Now let's see. I expected it to either get knocked out or bursted, but 
it went down to a stamina finish. So let's see what happens when I change the tip. It's actually quite the nice battle, right? Oh, now it's making me think if I'd have had the um, bearing on it, I don't feel like going to get it, but if I'd have had the bearing on it, it might have worn because I switched to a tonic. Oh, okay, so overall, Hades Kerbex is a wonderful stamina bay. It can take on so many bays and win, and it just looks cool while spinning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Peace out and have a great day.